Alright, this is Eric with Techno RV and today I'm going to show you how to change the battery on the TST 507 cap sensor. And uh, so you'll notice there's three tiny Phillips head screws here, so you'll need a tiny Phillips head screwdriver uh, to get those out. And keep in mind, uh, when we take those out, what we're going to be doing is just taking this outer shell off. And the outer shell is actually the anti-theft device, so when this is on a valve stem, if somebody tried to take it off, it would just spin. Sensors actually inside this outer shell that you'll see when we uh, get into this. So let's go ahead and get these uh, these three screws out of here. And uh, I usually like to get each one of them going, make sure it kind of comes out level here before I take any one out completely. So here we go. We can go ahead and finish this one out and this one there we go and this one here there we go so this uh, this cap should now just uh, oh, got a couple still hanging on here there we go should come off there there we go and uh, so like I said that's the outer shell and this is your actually your your sensor here so uh, you can actually use this outside of the shell uh, if you have a, a a tight space that you're trying to get a cap sensor in and uh, you wish the sensor was just a little bit smaller you can just take the outer shell off and use it like this we have people that do that it takes the anti-theft portion of the sensor away but uh, gives you the ability to get in some tighter spaces so uh, now it's just a matter of unscrewing this cap and uh, this one I'm able to take this one off with just my fingers but if it's a little too tight you can always get the tool that you use to uh, uh, put the sensors on your tires with the anti-theft device and you can just use that as a as a tool to um, take that off if you want to may or may not be necessary and there you go and this is the part where uh, People are like, well, where's the battery at? And it's actually right in kind of in the middle of the sensor. And uh, I hope you can see this okay here. There's on the back side of the sensor, you'll see like there's this wire right here. And the battery really is, can't, can't slip out of this side, but over here, it's wide open from here to here. So what you want to do is you'll just want to push the battery from the back side out to get that battery out of that spot. And it'll just pop right out like that. Remember that's positive side up on the battery. It's a little CR1632 battery. And uh, again, positive side up. Uh, now there is a, uh, a little O-ring here at the, uh, at the base of this sensor. And uh, we do recommend that you change that O-ring at each battery changing. I think you can see that there, how I'm kind of peeling that back and uh, I'm not going to change that now but uh, it's as simple as just popping that off and taking a new one and putting it back on and make sure you just slide it down here to the to the base of uh, where the caps gonna seat and then it's just a matter of getting a, we'll pretend this is a new battery here and it's easy to see which side of the sensor that the battery slides into It's just a wide open side and you just take the battery and slide it back in there you can take a small screwdriver and just uh, just give it a little push make sure it's seated in there good that's all there is to it we've just replaced the battery all we have to do is put the cap back on make sure it screws on down onto that o-ring nice and snug and uh, again it can be used just like this but you want the anti-theft device you just pop it back in here and then uh, all that's left is to just get these three screws back in with this cap and uh, so we'll just get each one of these started here there we go and uh, remember uh, once a year, uh, you know, unless you get a warning earlier that you're having a battery issue in your sensors, 
uh, or if you're having an issue with um, a particular sensor dropping out and it's been a while since the, the battery's been changed. Uh, you know, 10 to 12 months, but if it's been 12 months, we just recommend you just go ahead and change that. And uh, it's a pretty important piece of, of equipment here. And you don't want to be on a road trip and have a battery issue. So again, CR1632 battery. And just make sure each one of these is snug and uh, well you don't want to strip them out you just want to make sure they're, they're good and tight there you go that's the uh, now you can see the anti-theft devices in good working order there so uh, there you have it the TST 507 system cap sensor battery change and uh, nothing to it